I hope the water is ready for my tea. Oh, what's this? Hey everyone, it's Game Tim, and today I'm taking another little break from Cooking Mama to try a dish from a different game, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. I'll be making the popular in-game status healing item and Mount Chimney Delicacy Lava Cookies from scratch based on my own recipe. The Lava Cookie, originally the Lava Ridge Rice Cracker before localization, has made its way to all of the main series regions from their home in Hoenn. Since its appearance in Game Freak's third generation games, it has become one of the more iconic foods. For this episode, I'll be using the cookie translation instead of the Japanese language item, since that's what I grew up on and really want to tackle in this video. Since the cookie's taste are never really described in detail, I wanted to make something that would remind me of Mount Chimney. Something spicy for the heat and gooey like a chocolate lava cake. So I'm going to be making chocolate and cayenne crinkle cookies with a green fondant grip. While I'm throwing together my English language interpretation of this volcanic treat, I want to chat with you about some similarities between its region of origin and Hoenn's real-life counterpart, the Japanese island of Kyushu. If you want to follow along at home, you'll need powdered sugar, vanilla extract, cornstarch, cocoa powder, an egg, chocolate chips, and cayenne pepper for the cookies, and powdered sugar, green food coloring, and marshmallows for fondant to make our nori decorations. Because you asked for it, I'm going to write you a few more Pokemon puns. I can see that you're skeptical of this recipe since it's butter-free, but don't worry, you won't be seeking any other cookies after you see how they turn out. First, in a large bowl, we'll need to mix together powdered sugar, cocoa powder, cornstarch, and cayenne pepper. So let's start with the obvious. It's easy to miss the geographic similarities at first glance, but when we rotate the map 90 degrees, Hoenn and Kyushu are laid out almost identically. Then add an egg and vanilla extract, and stir with a strong spoon until very thick batter forms. I think the best place to start pointing out examples of Hoenn counterparts would be the birthplace of the lava cookie itself. Mount Chimney is probably based on Japan's largest active volcano, Mount Aso. Just a little south of its fictional cousin, Aso and Chimney are both hugely important to their respective regions. Now combine the chocolate chips with our cookie dough. If we look at the towns adjacent to these volcanoes, you'll see that Lava Ridge Town, like the town of Aso, is famous for its naturally heated hot springs. On a parchment paper lined cookie sheet, drop the dough in spoonfuls a few inches away from each other. Moving east, we'll notice that the centuries-old Shuri Castle in Okinawa appears to be almost identical to the Pokemon League building in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. These should bake in an oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes, or until the top surfaces are cracked. While we wait, we can make our fake nori out of fondant. Add water to marshmallows in a microwave-safe bowl and heat for about a minute. Then stir the melted marshmallow fluff until smooth. This one might sound like a stretch, but stick with me. In Japanese mythology, Amaterasu, the sun goddess, hid from her brother and god of the sea, Susano, who had gone on a rampage. A struggle between heat and water sounds pretty familiar. Also, this event is believed to have happened in Amino Iwato, where the scorched slab appears in game. While mixing, gradually add powdered sugar to the bowl. Make sure it gets incorporated into all of the marshmallow blob. We can also mix in food coloring at this point. I'm going to go with about 5 drops of green to pass off for Nori. Compared to the last similarity, this one's pretty straightforward. Moss Deep Space Center is based off the actual Tanegashima Space Center. Tanegashima Space Center is often featured in Japanese fiction, so its inclusion in a Kyushu-based region only makes sense. Knead and roll out our fondant on a powdered sugar dusted surface. Any moisture at this point will make it extremely sticky, so have more sugar on hand if needed. Another one of the pretty obvious similarities is between the shipbuilding capital of Nagasaki Prefecture, Nagasaki, and the massive Slateport City. Both are known for their shipyards, harbors, and beaches. Once the fondant is sufficiently flat enough to cover all of our cookies, we can cut it down into rectangles. Let's talk about Yabiji, also known as Yaebishi, or the Illusionary Reef. It's famous for being most visible during low tide on March 3rd. In my opinion, this is a lot like Mirage Island, a hard to reach area of Hoenn that can only be visited under certain rare circumstances involving daily randomized values. After taking the lava cookies out of the oven, let them cool for a few minutes before putting on the final touch by wrapping them in our fake nori. So how did it turn out? 
My fondant is far from the color of seaweed. In fact, a friend of mine asked why the cookies had green cheese wrapped around them. As I would add more green food coloring, I would need more white powdered sugar to balance the moisture, so I would always end up with a light green. Since baking, it was brought to my attention that black food coloring is a thing, so I'll definitely look into that when I make these again. Otherwise, they turned out great. They're just as cracked and crispy on the outside and gooey on the inside as I had hoped, and the cayenne adds a really interesting heat. I would half the amount of pepper if spicy foods aren't for you. I hope you enjoyed this attempt at in-game food from Pokemon. Again, I haven't abandoned cooking with Cooking Mama. I just really wanted to try out spicy cookies. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe and comment your thoughts on my recipe. It can always be expanded on or improved, so I'd love to hear what you have to say. See ya!